Hi folks, I'm Jem, the Crazy Pigeon Lady, uh, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Um, I'm doing a series answering uh, common questions that I often get asked about pigeons and doves. Uh, so you may have watched my previous video, uh, what is the difference between a pigeon and dove? Uh, so today I'll move on to question number two, how do racing pigeons navigate? Uh, so the short answer to this one is that scientists are not really sure, uh, but the long answer to this one is a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, so if you watch my video about the differences between the wild rock dove, which is the ancestor um, of all feral and domesticated pigeons, including racing pigeons, uh, you will have learned uh, that the navigation ability of the pigeon um, has been significantly developed by training through the domestication process of racing pigeons. And in fact, the wild rock dove from which they're descended would, would have a, a very limited navigation ability. Uh, but in racing pigeons, this is highly developed and they are able to navigate um, over hundreds of miles uh, in order to find their way home, even if they're taken to an unfamiliar place that they have never been before. Uh, scientists have studied uh, pigeon navigation um, and a number of scientists have, dis, uh, uh, have studied different elements of pigeon navigation. Um, and whilst there is no definitive answer of exactly how they navigate, the true answer is probably that they actually use a number of different techniques and collectively together, those allow them to find their way home. So first of all, um, contained within the, the, the tips of their beaks, Spencer on the beak here is being very good. Um, there are actually grains of uh, magnetite, which is a, a magnetic mineral um, that is embedded within the bone structure of the beak. Uh, and it's thought that this uh, responds to magnetic fields um, around the earth. And therefore it's thought that there might be um, some element of, of magnetic navigation involved and that the pigeons can actually detect uh, magnetic fields. Uh, in order to, to give them a sense of direction. Um, it's also thought that pigeons take note of the position and height and direction of the sun uh, in order to uh, help give them a sense of direction uh, in which to fly. Uh, but perhaps the greatest influence over a pigeon's navigation is actually its incredibly powerful visual memory. Um, over time, and certainly lots of training, pigeons will be taken out of their loft to an unfamiliar environment and they'll fly back to their loft. And this training process allows them to take in visual information about the surroundings from ever greater different distances from their loft. And these shapes and colors and patterns of features and landmarks, uh, including man-made landmarks like roads, um, become imprinted on their memories. Um, and so they use these to, to help navigate. And in fact, experiments have been done by placing GPS trackers on pigeons um, and they have actually followed the routes of, of, of major roads uh, in order to help them find their way home. Interestingly, some scientists have done experiments um, with pigeons and a sense of smell. Now, having a sense of smell is actually quite rare within birds. Uh, not very many species of birds actually have a particularly developed sense of smell. But some experiments have, have been done to suggest that there is an element of senses of familiar smells that might be involved uh, in pigeon navigation. So that, together with getting a sense of general direction using magnetic fields and the position of the sun, whilst also memorizing an element of their route with visual triggers, could all combine together to provide them with a detailed navigational picture uh, that helps them uh, find their way home. What's also interesting is that when pigeons uh, are taken out and they, they train together, they're usually taken out as a group and they usually fly together as a group rather than as an individual. Um, and it's uh, thought, again, this has been studied through experiments, um, that uh, there is a clear leader amongst the group who, who plays the, the leading role in navigating the group home. Uh, and it's also been discovered that this uh, determining of the leader who navigates the flock home is actually a different kind of dynamic to perhaps the leader who might be inside the loft. So inside the loft, the most dominant birds are likely to be the cockbirds, the male birds, 
bigger, stronger, feistier, who would dominate other pigeons for access to the best nesting sites and the food. Um, however, it's been discovered that inside the flock, when they're navigating, when they're flying together, that dominance structure and that pecking order no longer necessarily applies. And actually the bird that the others follow is the one that has shown itself to find the way home the quickest. In other words, the one who's best memorized uh, the route and has found the, the smartest, quickest and best way home and therefore those birds follow um, follow that other bird. Um, and if that bird is removed from the group, then they have to evolve a new leader and indeed they may split up and try different routes um, and eventually they'll discover a new leader and the new best way home. So there you go, that's how pigeons navigate. The true answer is probably through multiple different methods, uh, magnetic fields, direction of the sun, visual memory, and possibly even um, some scent-based cues as well. Um, perhaps we'll never truly know the real answer if only we could ask uh, the pigeons, um, but they're certainly pretty amazing uh, in that respect. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, please keep liking and sharing. And from me and Spencer, goodbye.